lead. Beehive State. Both these teams looking for a good start, Mark. That is going to be key. Utah, they got down early last week against Nola. Were not able to battle back. In fact, they trailed 25 to nothing at the half. Vice captain. Two of out calling for reinforcements here. By Leva. The big man across. Can he dot it down? Utah doing everything they can to hold him up. No. What a job by Toronto, the big loose end, Lolani Faliva. Okay, come, Toronto stay down. Stay down. with the man advantage. Can they extend this lead? Again, Simonton at the back of the mall, looking to peel off. Simonton doing so. Simonton across, waiting for the signal. And there it is, the second try for the Arrows. Gene Simonton going, digs it out. Hodgson going through the phases. Back to Fisher, has a man out wide, held on to by Mono. Mono inside the 22, oh, what a step! Uh -huh. Yo, Mono, the ankle breaker, and the first try for the Warriors. Take a bow, Joe Mono. <laughs> Makini, Cruce looking for the spectacular, finds Williams off the bounce. Now Mono, Mono inside the 22, Mono across, Mono dots it down the second for Joe Mono. Malcolm surveys. Malcolm back with Goodall. He's on the ball. Five out of it. Quick restart, Brody. Across and down, oh, try Jesus. Toronto, Ross Brody. Brody sees the opportunity and takes. Surveys, likes to go to the open side. Williams calling for it, and he'll get it from La Cica. Here comes Lance Williams, a lot of room in front of him, and runs right through Malcolm. Lance Williams with the fin, the offload to La Cica. La Cica across and down. Try time, Utah. Advantage to Utah. Warriors looking for another. It's one, nine. It's one. La Cica. Little cross field kick, able to find the man, and here comes Mono with the Superman and the hat trick for Joe Mono. Mono with the ankle breaker, and he's only continued to impress. Is here comes Fisher, Mono again flying down the touchline. Mono stepping back inside, couldn't make it a fourth. The try saver from Brendan Black, La Cique. Fisher, Hodgson with the dummy. Another cross field kick, Hodgson looking for Crusade, the oh, one hand and grab. Oh my. Crusade made it look easy. Wow, well, Utah, they're just putting on a show now. Almost like the Harlem Globetrotters of rugby at the moment, keeping the ball alive. The CK to Fisher to Hodgson again. No time at all to set himself to make that kick. And once again, for all money, I thought there was. And here comes Utah again on the front foot. It's Bailey Wilson this time. Wilson into the hands of McLeod. McLeod drugged down from behind, but still able to get the offload. Havili to Cruce. Can he make it a second? Back to Havili. And it's another try. Everything going Utah's way. Orehunga Havili. We saw them a couple of seasons back storm home with seven out of eight wins, I believe it was, to make the playoffs a few seasons back with exactly this schedule. But look at how he comes, Utah again. Fisher on the hoof. Off to Makini. Makini across, and the cherry on top for the Warriors. Caleb Makini, I said it moments ago, he felt hard done that he didn't have a try. And the Warriors will come away with the victory in front of the home fans. Uh, the Warriors have been so outstanding in this second half, playing with pace, but also precision. Yeah, just hold the kick. So on field decision is definitely try. There's inconclusive evidence to overturn that, so we'll stay with the try. Correct. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Time on. As we see Hodgson now, he's done that a few times, just kind of pushing it out to the right. So he'll be working on that at training. But what a game from Utah in that second half. Toronto shell-shocked in the second 40 minutes.